啊。Good afternoon, good evening, everybody. Welcome in, gamers. Hello, you guys. Hello, hello. Good morning. Good freaking morning. Let's turn this up a bit. Hi, guys. Here, let's look at Navia. Actually, no, let's not. Navi has really weird and sussy idol sounds. Hello, you guys. Good morning. Good morning. Um, What's up? Are we ready for the Genshin Impact 4.6 live stream in about 55 minutes, I want to say, is when it's coming out? 
me to play in Genshin. You guys, before I went to sleep last night, I'm so tired, by the way. Uh, before we went to sleep last night, I made sure to update my game. So, you guys should be proud of me because it was actually ready by the time we started to stream today. Guys, just saying, just saying, logged into the game. That's, that's a big feat for me. That's, I, I, yeah, it's, a, it's a big feat for me, you know? Why are we awake? Because I want to watch the live stream. Because, like, if we're going to get a 4.6 story update, I'm going to play the story update. Because I, I like the story of the game, you know? Unbelievable. I know. Give me... I need my patches. I need my claps, you guys. <laughs> but yeah, welcome in everybody. Hi, hello. I hope you guys had a lovely, a lovely few few weeks since our last live stream on YouTube. We did stream yesterday over on Twitch. I actually just got back from a trip yesterday. Um, I I am I'm extremely exhausted. I kind of forgot this was happening today until my friend reminded me. Uh are you okay? You sound like you need serious sleep to regenerate your stamina. I'm I'm tired. I, I'm not gonna pretend I'm not tired. I'm sleepy. I um yesterday I woke up at 4 30 in the morning and I went uh went to the airport. Uh my flight was at 8 a.m. Because the airport was an hour away. And then um I had a six hour flight to get to where I am, and then um immediately I had people at my house and we had to entertain them for dinner, and then I streamed and then I played Lethal Company for a collab as well until like maybe one and then I went to sleep and now I'm up. So I'm probably gonna take a nap. I'm probably gonna take a nap after this so I can get a little bit more sleep. I am I am tired, but but I do want to know what's going on with our Lakino. All right. I I, I, I do. I do want to know. I, I do want to know, you know. Like I, we we got we gotta know. I we have to like, like what if we they drop with the most intense lore bomb ever about Arlequino in this live stream, like you know, Raven, my beloved. Ah, uh, I know, right? My what's my favorite character right now? Navia. Am I C sixing R fiving? No. No, you guys. I'm sorry to say this, and you guys are going to get really upset with me when I say this. I'm not pulling for Arlequino. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not pulling for Arlequino, you guys. Listen, okay, guys, my logic, my logic, all right? Are you ready for this? It's gonna make sense. Oh, thank you for the super chat. Okay, it's gonna make sense, alright? It's gonna make sense. I... I don't play the game regularly enough to pull, I think, on the banners anymore. Unless, like, they release a character that, like, truly, truly, like, you know, changes my brain chemistry. The way that Navia changed my brain chemistry. AKA, when Senora comes back, that is the next banner... I will roll on, all right? When I, I I will not roll on another Genshin Impact banner until La Senora comes back, you guys. And she's coming back. I I have full... I have, What about Chlor... Hmm. Wait a second. I forgot about Chlorin. <laughs> okay. But, like... Okay, listen... Listen, they haven't... Have they even dripped her yet? Have... Hmm... Have... Have they even dripped... Chlorind yet? I think I'm fine. Do we even know if she's playable? Do we even know? Like, they've they kept her in the vault this entire time. Do we even know if she's playable? They kind of just showed her us... Uh, showed her to us... Made her kiss Navia... And then never... And then never, you know, they did anything with it. So, you know, guys, we don't know anything yet. They haven't said anything. Okay, guys, we don't look at leaks here. All right, we don't look at leaks here. Give Navia her GF. But you guys, like, I just don't play the game. So I feel like it's just like a waste of money when we could be saving our money for E6 Robin, you know, guys, we gotta, guys, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta pace our gotcha pulls. All right, like, guys, come on.
Um, your fave game of all Hoyo games is uh, Star Rail. I'm a Star Rail girly pop. I think you guys know this. You should play Ether Gazer. I would love to play Ether Gazer if they want to hit me up. But, you know, getting invested in a new gacha game. I'm going to be real. I'm going to be real. And I'll put this on the record. Azur Promilia. I, I, um, excuse me. Azur Promilia. Hit me up, please. I want to play that game so badly. I want to play Azur Promilia so freaking badly, you guys. That game looks so good. As that's okay. Actually, we can watch probably the Azur Promilia trailer. Hold on. <laughs> I know they released a new trailer. I, 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 what if we watched it real quick? Guys, what if I, the voice, I know. Guys, like, what if we just became Azure, Azure Promilia uh, Sims, you know? Just gaslighting you, Mina. Half of chat just wants Robin, then this, any, any upcoming characters in Genshin? No, I'm sure, I'm sure there's Genshin. There's Gen no, 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 the Genshin fans are here right now. And they're allowed to be Genshin fans, you guys. You guys are allowed to to want characters on the Genshin banner, so it's okay. Genuinely, when are you doing your Star Rail daily? What do you mean? I do them all the time. I do them every day. I do my Star Rail dailies. I do them. Those are the only dailies I do. And my AFK journey dailies. Are fake gamer? No. Um, I'm trying to get Star Rail VAs invited to Scotland conventions because I love you. I, um, handle with Kerr. I'm not. I'm not a. I'm not a voice actor. Um, um, I'm uh, I'm I'm not one of the voice actors though. I I'm just a streamer. <laughs> I'm a streamer. <laughs> <laughs> you are though no i'm not not going to, i'm not going to no guys i feel so bad for when i fans actual voice actor like i i feel so bad because like her entire work as gwenai fan people are just like um anyways me now i am all right am i right like <laughs> david Kun guys i love going to david kun's voice it's so funny it's so freaking funny Scottish. You radiate voice. I, I don't think I do. I think I'm just friends with them. Azure trailers before Genshin live stream. Oh yeah, okay. I forgot that we were gonna do that. Azure Promilia. Where's the new trailer? Hold on. Let me. She's just always trying to make noises. Navia, please keep it keep it in your pants right now, Queen. Um, where's the new trailer that came out? Where's the new Azure Promilia trailer? That what, what 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 guys? What channel is it on? Hold on. Uh, where is the new Azure trailer? There's there was a new one that came out like while I was away. Do I pull for Aventurian? Yes, I will pull for Aventurian. There was a new one, guys. Where did it go? I'm so confused, you guys. There was a new Azure Promilia trailer. Yeah, wait, no, I'm trying to find the new one. Trailer. That's a three weeks ago one. Hold on, I'm looking. Uh, God, people don't put their actual... The, the links to what they react to in chat. I mean, I don't either, but, like, can, can, can they please... I'm trying to find this. Um, I did hear you're going for E. I am not going for E6 Aventurine. No, 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 no. Guys, what? What is this video called? Oh, let me see. This person, Azure Promilia new trailer. Azure Promilia. New trailer for uh uh hmm for PS five mayhaps. Okay, I found it. Okay, I found it. I found it. I found it. I found it. We're good. Oh wait, hold on. Okay. All right.
Guys, this game looks so good. Guys, this game looks so good. Okay, we're gonna ignore the children. Like, you get little Pokemon! And you get to farm, dude! Guys, I... <sighs> the amount of just, like, daily life stuff that you could do in this... This game is going to own my soul. You get little Pokemon? It's Power World, but like gotcha and anime girls. And you get like little mounts? Like, right, come on, you guys. Like, this looks so pretty. Ignoring the children. She's cute. Love to see it. Where's the blonde girl? Where's my blonde? This is so cool. This is so cool, you guys. She's cute. I like this one, too. Oh, she's so pretty. Ah, yes, my blonde. Look at her. Look at her. Look at her. Look at her. Guys, look at her go. Blonde elf girl. That's all you need. All you need is a blonde elf girl in your life. Like, look at her! Look at her! Guys, all you need is... Look, guys, 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 look, 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 guys, 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 She's so cute. Guys, look, she's so... She's so look, she's, look at her, look at her, look at her, look at her. She's... Oh, blonde elf with, like, the ponytail, you guys. Guys, all you... All you need, all you freaking need is a blonde girl and you just hooked me... You, you guaranteed hooked me for at least a month. Yeah, this is my weak. My weakness is right here on screen. Right there, right? This is this is pure weakness. A blonde. That's that boom. Boom. I will check out your game. She's really pretty too. I like her. She's also like a little bit of a sin today from what I've seen. Oh, the mount system looks so cool too. Guys. Guys. Come on. Come on. Yeah, neuron activated. Neurons activated right now. Am I in the beta test? I don't think they have a beta test for this. Like, she is so pretty, you guys. She is so pretty. Who called her Jinglu? You guys. Hoyo does not own white-haired, red-eyed characters, okay? They have been a concept for years before Hoyoverse was even established. All right, you guys. All right. They could be their own things, you guys. They could be their own things. You don't have to just relate everything to the Hoyo people. All right. They could be their own creations. It's giving Ningguan. In what universe? Yes, but it's Jingu. <laughs> Uh, you prefer Hoyo style? This looks so similar to Hoyo style. What do you mean? What do you freaking mean? Okay, guys, listen, listen, listen. Wuthering Waves looks great. I'm not going to discount Wuthering Waves. Wuthering Waves looks great. I like this aesthetic better. Just personally, I, I do prefer a brighter game. I think Wuthering Waves gives me, like, if Dark Souls was a gacha game, that's what Wuthering Waves is going to give me. But this is giving me if Power World was an anime game, you know? And and I think from like a casual standpoint, from like a ca like I'm a casual, I'm a filthy casual. Like I I I like I like like this coloring better. Also, the devs said, the devs said, um yeah, we know we're good at making waifus. So it's an all female cast. And I was like, "Oh, sign me up, boys. Sign me up." <laughs> like Power World with effort. I think Power World had effort put into it, you know? You know? It, it, it's fine. Uh, Wuthering Waves is too much parrying. Just say you're bad at parrying. You know? Get good. Get good. Uh, you know, we're playing Code Vein. And, like, I thought I was bad at Souls-like. And then I tried a little bit. And I, like, I beat one of the bosses in, like, only two deaths. Just saying. Just saying. Once you learn the mechanics. Once you learn how to dodge. Like, guys, the game gets so much easier.
We lost you guys. Yeah. Guys, I just, uh, I just, I just love, I just love a hot anime character, you know? Guys, come on. Guys. Guys. Come on. Like, guys. This is nice. She's so cute, that one. Oh, oh the blonde. Azur Promilia. That was something like the end. No idea what the plot is of this game. PlayStation. No idea what the uh, the plot is of this game. Do I care? No. At least not right now. I'll care later when it's relevant. But, but yeah, I'm very excited. Very excited for that game to try out. You guys, it's okay to want to branch out and try other gacha games, you know? It, it, it's okay. It's okay. We can, we can play multiple gacha games. Just, like, limit your spending. Don't spend too much money. Because yeah, you don't. Don't do that. Be free to play. All female equals no Sai UVA. I mean, there's NPCs. He can play an NPC, okay? Nikkei? Yeah, you can try out Nikkei. Am I pulling for Firefly? Well, they haven't announced Firefly is playable yet, so how the frick am I gonna pull for her? Guys, come on. Use your brains. When they announce that they're playable, I can say if I'm gonna pull them or not. They haven't announced. Did I lose interest in reverse? No! Oh my god. You guys? You guys? I love Reverse 1999, but it's also a game that very much needs updates to play regularly. We're caught up on the story. We're fully caught up. We did the we did the story content, all of it. We finished chapter five. What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do when when the update happens on the 18th? We will play on the 19th. We are playing. We are playing the 19th when the new update happens. So we'll play the new event. OK. All right, so, but right now, but right now, did I finish the epilogue, or? <sighs> anyway. <laughs> How much did I spend on Genshin Impact? Um, not that much. I don't think so. Like, in total, or like, the last year? Because last year, I really didn't spend that much. Damn, sipping for real? Yeah. When am I gonna play oppose Honkai Impact 3rd again? When I feel like it. You guys, I can't force myself to play games I don't want to play. I'm sorry. I know, I know the Impact fans specifically in chat really want their streamers to play Honkai Impact. I, if I play Honkai Impact right now, I will end up hating the game. Because I just don't feel like playing it. And if I force myself to play it, like, I'm just, I'm gonna dislike it. If you want a character, become a Hoyo employee. Lol. In total, did you spend more on HSR or Genshin? Um. Okay, let me see. I feel like with HSR, I mean, it's only been out for, like, less than a year. I don't think I've spent more there than in Genshin, like total Genshin. But but I will say it's an unfair comp like it's unfair to compare the two because with Star Rail, I feel like I've been more financially secure. So I've been a little bit more um lax with my money in that game since since you know i'm able to make more content revolving around around having more characters versus like genshin i wasn't as financially secure so i usually stopped at like c0 because you know i just wanted to have like one of every character but with like star rail i'm definitely a lot more like just secure and so i'm able to make that kind of content you know yeah, free to play by the way yeah <laughs> f2b f2b Losing each 50-50 on Acherons, I think you spent more. Um, actually, I only lost five 50-50s. All right? 
all right only lost five can you can you guys not just add on to i'm not new me i didn't lose seven 50 50s in a row all right in actuality she lost like eight or nine because she lost sparkles as well she lost like two sparkle 50 50s as well so she lost like nine 50 50s in a row i only lost five yeah i'm actually like <laughs> did i watch the coletta's trailer for zz oh, there was a new zzz trailer i didn't i didn't see a new zzz trailer i didn't know there was a new one hold on let me go look we can go look at it oh my god you guys oh, we just get to like talk to each other did you guys miss me although we did just stream yesterday on on twitch hey guys go follow my twitch oh there was a new trailer last night i didn't see this yeah go watch it dude navi is trying so hard to start like just moaning on my screen and i'm just keep keep stopping her all right, let's see this. And that dude was like, you're right. I got to work even harder. I got to work and even harder. His tools and bolted to the front. That place was crawling with ethereals. And our dude didn't even bat an eye. Hey, anyone sitting here? Nah, go ahead. Thanks. I only found out later this dude's so big. <laughs> Her feet shot dangle, that's bomb, cute. So I'm like telling out my future past. <laughs> <laughs> Here, take a drink. Thanks, man. Yeah, Bellabog. It's Bellabog Industries, Ooh, which is part of Zenless Zone Zero. Hey, uh, you're new here too? Got some wild stories mm -hmm. to share with everyone? Wild stories? We're telling each other all the crazy stuff we've experienced at work. Oh my God, she looks tired. Her company specializes Me too, in queen. all of construction after all. Oh my God. Her, her outfit. I'm about to say the most cursed shit on earth, you guys. It reminds me of Guy Fieri. Guys. Does, does this not give Guy Fieri vibes? Does it, guys, please, please. It looks like it, right? Come on, come on. <laughs> it's the flames. It's the it's the flames, dude. You said that to Luca too, because he also gives it. Every person with flames reminds you of fear. Yeah, it does. It's the way that any character exists in a gotcha game, and you guys call them another Hoyo character, all right? All right. You're probably too young to have too many tall tales. <laughs> I've got plenty. Oh, she has shark huh? teeth. That's cute. Like about a year ago, I was in a construction accident. Wait, is she wearing like panda ears? We were supporting a defense force fortification when we accidentally fell. Oh, I like her. To use a different anti-corruption coating. Huh? Oh wait, okay. I like. Wait, hold on. I like this one. Hold on. I like this one. In the hollow. I kept falling and falling, and I realized I was in an unfinished building, and at the bottom was a pool of wet cement! Oh no. If I fell in, I knew I'd be done for. So, I immediately got on top of my hammer, and I went cement serving instead! <laughs> I feel like physics doesn't work like this. Duh! So, I'm surfing around, and I found some trapped co-workers. Hey. They probably also fell in when the space in the hollow shifted. Oh, Anton! Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, is that a person? Yep. Right ahead. Looks like one of us. <laughs> one of no. us. Why is there so much cement? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I see another person over there. And there, is that side. Another one. Um, what is propelling I them? My coworkers, and we soared across the sea of cement. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> Cement. We were almost at the edge, then all of a sudden, a few ethereals popped up <gasps> nowhere and attacked us. Not the ethereals. I mean, smart and fast. I immediately dodged, but my hammer was going too fast. We oh no! Up, and we all went flying into another fissure. And guess where we ended up in the end? We got back to the construction site, the one we fell from in the beginning. <laughs> And then, just bro, this girl's so hot. Wait, I like this one. Group of gangsters trying to ransack the site, huh? So we all fought them off together, huh? Why are you all so quiet? Uh, huh? 
They don't believe her. Oh, they don't believe her. Had you going? What do you mean, had you going? It happened. Attention, IE for activity detected in the area. On site response, please assemble immediately. I repeat, IE for activity detected in the area. Oh my god, big bear. There you are, President. Looks like some ethereals managed to get on site. Uh, for the sake of security, it's best if we take them out. P president? Got it. Tell the logistics team to evacuate. Wait, President? Can work once on site response handles this. Understood. I'm on it. Kid, are you. Uh, ma'am, you're <laughs> the President of Bellabog? You're Kaleida Bellabog? Yeah. Why so nervous? Though. Didn't you just say I was making up stories? Oh, shit! Wanna find out if they're true? Then come on, let's go! Don't test me, and don't try me Tiny things are known to be okay, okay, I feel like one thing with the ZZZ trailers, it always sounds like there's VTuber music in it. All right, so we got our first our first look at Bella Bog Industries. This is the, guys, this is the descendant of Bronya. This is, this is the actual descendant of Bronia, Bellabog Industries. President? Yeah, President. That was a, that was a pretty good trailer. I like that their, their trailers have been more, like, story-based than anything else. Which is always, always a nice thing. Alright, excuse me. Bron Seeley had a baby, yeah, and it's a redhead. Who's the husband? Seeley. Is ZZZ related to HSR? Um, I think it's in the same vein of like, it's an overarching universe. We just don't know how they relate just yet. You know, we just, why is her hair red? I don't know how genetics works. Kokolia was blonde, but why did Bronia have gray hair? Because she was adopted. <laughs> like, come on, you guys. Games always know how to sell me a short rascal with a large hammer, lol. ZZZ is also in the imaginary tree. We don't know yet. The guys, the game hasn't come out. So we don't actually fully know how these games are related. Navia's been frozen there for an hour. Now she's living her best life. She's just waiting for Clorin to hug her, you know? Why is Avia T posing? She's asserting dominance on Paimon. As as one would do. Are you guys, did you guys apply for the ZZZ beta? That should be soon. I don't know when though. Anyone you're interested in for the R1999 update? I'll probably pull for whoever the first banner is. Um, I'm mainly excited for the skins. I'm like really excited for the skins. Like the, the DK skin and the Tooth Fairy skin. I'm probably going to buy them. Specifically the DK skin. It looks so good. Like, she looks so good. Have I pulled for six? Nah. No, I'm, I'm skipping him. We, we gotta save you guys. Did I not get the AFK Journey sponsor? Fam. Last weekend, we had two AFK Journey sponsors. We had two. I played on Saturday and Sunday. But we played it on Twitch. We, we played it on Twitch. Also, if you watch my my poll video, my E6 Acheron poll video, there is a there's also an AFK journey ad in there. Um, watch the trailer. Well, watch the trailer on the 19th when I play it. Um, <laughs> Archon skins wear, bro. Skins wear in general. You sound sick. Yeah, I'm sick of you guys. I, that's a joke. I was, I was I was joking. I'm not sick actually. I actually feel great. I I was sick like last week. Chat, I was I was chat, it was it was a joke. It was it was it was it was a joke. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, chat. I, I'm, so, I'm so I'm so chat. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, you guys. Did they fix the English localization with R90? I think they did. I I actually think they did. I I think. Okay, the thing with Reverse in Nine, a lot of it, like, these characters aren't speaking their main language. Like, English isn't their first language, so if it sounds choppy, like, for me, it makes sense, like, canonically for them not to, like, have perfect English. Like, the, um, you sound like a simp. Ugh, guys, it's chronic. I have, I have chronic symptom where I'm just, I'm just a simp. 
I'm just a simp. Da, na, 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 da, da, da. Let me see. Can I can I get away with showing this on? Let me see. Hold on, let me just make sure I didn't retweet anything sussy. Hey guys, did you guys know that um that I Minaoyama have a so first of all you guys should go follow my Twitter my normal Twitter you guys we're gonna, we're gonna do a little we're gonna do a little a little shilling out you guys you want Robin so bad me too I love love Robin love Robin so much okay guys we're gonna shill right now what's she even saying dude I don't even know anyway go follow my main Twitter if you're if you like me all right but if you like me more than my main Twitter. I have a second Twitter, guys. I I have a second Twitter. Guys, I feel like I don't sound that tired. I feel like I sound like I normally sound. I think you guys just like forgot how I sounded. I, I feel like I feel like you guys forgot like just like how I sounded. But but I feel like I sound kind of normal. Like I feel like I'm waking up. I've had coffee, you know? But anyway, we got Mina Owoyama. And and this is I guys, this Twitter is so much more fun than my main Twitter. Like, my main Twitter's fun in the sense that, like, you know, you know, like, it has, like, more, like, official stuff for the most part. Like, it, it's a little bit more, it's a little bit more professional-esque. It's a little bit more professional-esque, as one would tell, as one would say. It's, it's definitely more professional. Oh, God, this is so pretty. Um, but then, but then this one, this one, this one is, um, this one has more Yuri. Guys, this one, this one is more Yuri bait, and then I can, I, I, I can just, I can, I could I could be free here, you guys. I, I am, I'm, I'm free on this account. I, I am, I have been, un, I've been unleashed on this account. That baby, though, we ignore the baby. We. Guys, this freaking baby has been haunting me. This 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 baby has truly been haunting me the entire way through. All right? I I cannot escape from this baby. But you guys should go follow both of my Twitters. This one and this is more professional cuz I realized, you guys, I realized that like I can't I can't shit post on on main account i can't shit post you know i can't like i have to like keep like a level of of professionalism on my main account because you know we have we have little babies but like you know i'll retweet if you guys make fan art of me of course i will retweet it but like you know like i have to be i have to be uh, i have to be professional here because you know brands look at this account brand yeah it's for corpo brands look here brands won't be looking here brands aren't gonna be looking here you guys the navia art bro the, the the Navi art is so pretty. This is such pretty art. Uh, Ghoul, Ghoul Leo. This chef's kiss. Mwah. Beautiful. Dude, I kind of want to commission them and get like a portrait. Like, 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 you know, kind of like the kind of portraits that you, that you get like on top of like a fire mantle of my character. That'd be so nice. Show us the you and Aka Swan art. Um... You know, you know, living, living my best life, truly, respectfully, genuinely living my, the bestest life that, that one, one could ever expect to live because of how, how lovely, how, how, how absolutely lovely this feels, you know, Prof guys, yeah, it's professional because I, I, guys, I was retweeting fan art. You you guys made you made lovely fan art and I have to retweet it, you know. Like, what do you want from me? I I was retweeting lovely. Like, this is the fans' efforts, okay? You guys, you're gonna make fan art of me. I'm gonna retweet it. So that, thank you for that. Also, if you guys want to join the art contest, it's almost over. It's gonna end in like 10, 12 days. In twelve days, if you want to join it. But anyway, this account's a little bit more unhinged. Just a little bit more unhinged, but definitely still say so in a sense. Surely, yeah, it's still say so. But like you get my Yuri Rex as well. I even because I was on the plane, I was I was kind of spamming a little bit on um 
with uh with, with responses because i asked you guys to ask me anything and i was responding very quickly because i was on a plane and i was bored so so you know you know i i'm more i'm more um interactive on this account than on my main account i, I actually like <laughs> i really don't look at responses very often on the main account the robin firefly yeah it's nice it's nice divine say so from your perspective you know say so Regulus, r r r r r r regulus, alchemical genius. Call me what you like. R r r r r r regulus. Oh, I love this character. I can't wait to get to her in reverse. When's the live stream start? In 19 minutes. I have it up right here. In 19 minutes. 19 whole minutes. No cough, Hime. Guys. Cuff Hime, while I understand it's a very pretty ship, not one of my top ships in the game. I don't know. It's just it's just not one of my it's just not one of my tops. Like, uh so so I just like, you know, if I see the art, I'll I'll look at it, but like it just doesn't show up. I prefer other ships. I, I just prefer other ones over uh Cuff Hime. Aka Swan's probably one of my top ones right now. Um They need to interact more, yes. Factually wrong. I know you guys can like whoever you like. I'm just saying for me personally, I like Kafka style. I actually really do like Kafka style. I think that's a great ship. Um, apologize right now to Toxic Rivals, Yuri. Jade, I love Jade Topaz. I freaking love Jade Topaz. My favorite ship, it really, it, I, I rotate a lot, uh, just depending on whoever I'm obsessed with at the moment. But, um, like, I, I understand if you ship, like, Kafime and then go for it. I understand the appeal fully, and, like, the art's pretty. But I, I happen to just kind of prefer Kaf Stel, but, like, my main Stel ship I prefer is still Starch. I, guys, I just, I just enjoy multi-shipping. I'm a multi-shipping queen, you know? I love Starch. My favorite, um, guilty pleasure, probably Robin uh, Firefly right now. Because, like, they never interacted, but I ship that so hard. I ship that so freaking hard, you guys. Stealth. I think Stealth Firefly is cute. I just prefer, uh, like, uh, Starch. So, like, for me, like, like March is endgame for Stealth. The sad part about Starch is how unbelievably dense March is. I don't think March is that dense. March is just, like, she's just, like, a little girly pop, you know? She's living her best life. Yeah, Stealth has two hands, you guys. The hetero ships are unicorns in this fandom. I agree with you, actually. I, I actually fully agree with you there. The thing is, like, I, I like straight ships, too. It's just, like, in Star Rail specifically, I just feel like they don't interact. You know? Or, like, if they do interact, one of them is just so zesty that, like, it feels wrong. Like, like, okay... If you ship Aventurin and Topaz, like, you live your best life. I will never tell you to not ship something, okay? Ne I will never tell you to not ship something. But Aventurin, to me, just feels like a boy kisser. You know? It just, like... It, it, like, he feels like a boy kisser. Where, like, it feels wrong, you know? But, like, I like Don Hung March. I think that's cute. I, I enjoy... I enjoy Don Hung March. I think that's adorable. Um... What else is there? But, like, you like Aven Stell, so I feel you. Yeah, but, like, guys, listen, listen. I will never tell you not to ship something, all right? Like, this, for me, this is a safe space. You're allowed to ship whatever you want, all right? Whatever you want, I will never tell you you are wrong. Because I don't like when people tell me that my ships are wrong. Because I'm like, shut up. I'm like, Sh shut up. It's my ship. Because, okay, guys, okay, guys. I, I tweeted this out on this account uh, earlier. If you comment... On me shipping Yuri that the characters aren't gay. Well, I hate to break it to you because they aren't real. So, if I want them to kiss, I'm going to make them kiss because they're not freaking real. So who gives a shit? Who cares? Who cares? They're not real. <laughs> Let people ship who they want to ship. <laughs> so, yeah. God, I hate it when people are like, um, actually, this character, they're not real. Um, actually, there are pixels on a screen. 
they're they're pixels. If I want to make these two pixels pixels touch, I'm gonna make them. I'm gonna make them kiss. All right, I'm gonna make them kiss. That's it. Shipping is fun. Let people have fun, guys. I came. I come from 2013tumblr.com. It was like the wild west when it comes to ships. People were shipping Sasuke Uchiha and Obama back in 2013. You guys, come on. You can't like you can't just put me in today's society and tell me I'm not allowed to ship a bunch of shit. All right, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna ship it. I, I can't help it. It's just it's in my blood. It's in my DNA. They what? <laughs> oh my god, do you guys not remember this? Wait, do you guys not remember those ships? The Twilight and Mordecai ones, dude. There was there were so many. I've been eating on Blue Hill. I haven't seen a lot from him because I don't look at leaks. But he looks awesome. He every time I see anything about him, I'm just like, oh, he's kind of he he grows on me every single time. He's like he's like mold. Every time he's just like he's like a little bit cooler. You like Columbina and Arlequino? Yeah, I think that they looks they look great together. Can I ship me and Mina? No. Unfortunately, I'm not on the table. You can ship me with my friends, though. I give you permission on that. Did I watch the Adventuring t uh, teaser? Not yet, actually. <laughs> I meant to watch it yesterday on stream, but I forgot because I was tired. Bum, bum. It's a little bit weird shipping IRL people, but like, I think with like my, like you guys, okay. Like, friend-wise, like, you're allowed to ship me and Numi because, like, we're friends and, like, we've already established, like, <laughs> lol, that's funny. So, like, that's, like, fine, you know? But, like, you, you keep it to, like, the character art and, like, not us as individuals, you know? Bum, bum. Sayu called you out for being the last to react to it. I'm sorry I was traveling? I, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I was, I was traveling, so I didn't get to react, okay? Listen, I was just gonna watch it when his trailer dropped, so I was gonna do both in one. Do it now, no, I'm gonna do it when the trailer drops. The trailer's probably gonna drop today, or tonight. So, like, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm holding off, I'll just, I'll just put it as a, uh, as one, like, one thingy. Mina face reveal went never. I'm a VTuber. And I like my anonymity. So, not gonna see my face. Unless, like, there's, like, a meetup or something. Sayu's really holding a grudge against you. Guys, it's, it's, all, it's all for jokes, guys. It's all for jokes. Sayu's very nice. He's, he's very nice. He finally left my uh, express train, so I'm free. I'm free, you know? What do you mean this isn't her real... Oh my god, you're so right. Guys, yeah, this is my face. This is who I am. This is real. This is me. Ba -ba 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 they changed the thumbnail, did they really? This looks the same. This, this, this looks the same. The way you lied. When people lie to me on YouTube. Oh, is it on YouTube? Hold on. I don't like just opening YouTube on stream. I just don't trust it. Let me see. Um. Bum, bum, bum. Whoops. Genshin. Oh, whoops. Genshin Impact. Genshin Impact. Videos. Upcoming live stream. Oh! Hold on. Bro, that looks so much nicer than the one that they released. Oh, we might just watch on YouTube then. It looks fancier. This looks nice. This is, this is, oh my god, oh my god. Look, dude, she's about to, bro, she's, she's, about, to, she's about to come at us. Dude, Lynette is so cute. Guys, I feel like Lynette as a character is just like peak she's like so i don't know there's something about there's something about lynette that's really cute i i, I really like lynette i wish lynette was the five star i'm sorry lenny I, i'm sure lenny's a great he's a great he's a swell guy 
I'm sure I'm sure he's he's amazing and such a good brother and you know he he shoulders so much. But god, Lynette is so cute. Like Lynette, oh god, they both should have been five stars. And their kids should have been intertwined like like um Rosalia and the other one in Hongai Impact where where their kids were connected. So like if you have them both on the same team, like they like do special animation. They should have done that. And the fact that they did it is Lilia and Rosalia, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the fact that they didn't is, is like, a miss. Sorry, I forgot about Lilia. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I haven't played in a while. Who's my favorite of the siblings? Lin Lynette. <laughs> it's the one I've been gushing about. Lynette! <laughs> Justice for Femine. I mean, Femine, he's cute. I guess. Am I pulling for Alekino? No, I'm not. Femine being the middle child? Um, actually, he's the youngest. Um, yeah, actually, because, uh, Lenny and Lynette are twins. Lynette hang out when? When I play Navia Story Quest. Nine more minutes. You're still waiting for Columbina? Watch me to change your mind after the live stream. I, you never know. You actually never know. Last time Mina said she won't pull, she e it. No, no, listen. I said I wasn't gonna E6. I was always gonna pull, though, all right? Like, I was always gonna get Acheron. Actually, no, I did say Acheron might be a skip. Listen. Listen, listen, listen. Okay, listen. You can't blame me. You, you can't blame me for that. Like, they put, they put their everything into, into Acheron's marketing. We got, the animated short really sold me. Like, that was, that was really, like, they showed me, like, that, okay, if, if they show us of Arlequino dancing the tango with, like, with, like, Navia or, like, Columbina, like, okay, maybe I'll pull, you know? But they're not gonna do that. They're not gonna show us an animation, a five-minute animation of the most sensual dance on Earth. Like, they're not gonna do that. Our, oh, our La Furry dance would be amazing. Sparkle trailer still better in your opinion. That's a valid take, and I actually agree with you, but I feel like uh, Akron got like an animation, you know? Bum, bum, bum. Daddy Arlequino or Mommy Arlequino? Well, Arlequino's father, so we have to respect father, you know? Video title C6, R5, Arlequina. Nah, now nah, we're not gonna do that. Now they show you Arlequino voice by Allegra, and now you have to C6, R5. No, 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 I miss my money. You will watch, you will call Arla daddy after watching her. I call no one daddy except for my father. I actually don't even call my father daddy. Call my dad dad. Or like Baba. Have I seen the Navia Chiori ship? Yes, I have, and I love it. And I freaking love it. I'm a multi shipper, you guys. I freaking love that ship. That's so it's such a good ship. Please pull for Murata. Um, can they show us the character first? What if they're ugly? What if I don't like them? You guys, come on. The word daddy has been ruined for you. I think it's been ruined for a lot of people. We've been calling Arlequino daddy since day one. I'm so I'm so happy for you. Am I doing R5? I will never R5 a weapon. The Navia Chiori fan art makes me dream about Navia. It's too hot. Oh, God. Navia being like a little minx. I freaking love her. Oh, Navia, my beloved. Oh, she's so cute. My favorite straight ship in HSR and Genshin. In Genshin, uh, Beto Kazua is probably my favorite straight ship. I think it's an unpopular one. I'm pretty sure it's an unpopular one. So like, I really like it though. And in, in Star Rail? Bro, Star Rail just feels inherently more gay. Guys, it's my ship, all right? Listen, listen, it's my ship. You don't have to ship it. I don't talk about it very often. Um, what, what about in Star Rail? Interfere with Ningguang and Beidou. It's because I don't care for Ningguang uh, and Beidou as a ship. Um, 
Du, du. God forbid, you guys, I have a ship that I like. Uh, in Star Rail? Maybe Donhong March? I think they're cute. Um... I don't really ship Welt and Himeko, because, like, you know, Welt has, like, a wife and kids, you know? Boom, boom, boom. No, I don't like Robin Hill. I like Robin Fly. I don't like Asta Arlen. Arlen feels like a little brother. Guys, straight ships. You guys are putting... You guys, you guys are putting my, my normal ships. I ship Ether with absolutely no one in this game, you guys. For me, Ether will never touch a woman in this game in my heart. I want you guys to know this. That is a twink. He is... He is a twink. Ether will never touch a woman in this game for me. He can touch other men. But he will not touch a woman in this game for me. Just saying. He he can be with any of the men. He can be with Xiao. He could be with... He could be with Child. He can, he can be with anyone he wants to be. But not with a woman in this game. I refuse. I absolutely refuse. But Ayaka Lumin has Ayaka. That man, that that that, that little twink. That little twink. No, 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 no. That is a boy kisser. That is a boy kisser if I've ever seen one. I love Yoimiya. I freaking love Yoimiya, okay? Yoimiya Lumin, adorable. Child Lumin, and you're allowed to ship that, and I won't tell you no. You're allowed, guys, guys, you're allowed to ship whatever you want. I'm a twink, I'm offended. <laughs> you guys are allowed to ship whoever you guys like, please. Don't let my opinion sway you. Ship whatever the hell you want to ship. Um, if I don't ship it, like, okay. Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, it's okay, it's okay. We don't have to agree on everything. Lumin or Stell? I prefer Stell. Stell's my little scrunky bear. I love her. She's so cute. Oh my god, Dia and, uh, and, and Dunyazard is a great ship. Yeah, Beto has the biggest ship anyway. Yeah, you're so right. Kazuo or Alakino, you're at 70, pretty guaranteed. Whoever you like better. Candice, Candice dick fit in your mouth. <laughs> Got him. Would you accept if Voyeverse chose you to be novice voice actor? No, because I'm not a voice actor. I don't think I could do her justice. You guys, I'm not a voice actor. Guys, I don't voice act. I don't voice act, you guys. Why would they Why would they hire me? If anything, I would love to be an NPC. I want to have one line that you have when you're walking, like when you're walking around. Like, you know that one guy in Pentacony that's like, is this sugar-free soul glad? I would love to do that. I would love to have that kind of character that's just so annoying and obnoxious every time you walk past them. Like, that's that's what I want. I don't want to be a playable character. Because then I'll have to E6, R5 them, and I don't want to do that. <laughs> what, they, what noise did the Hitlichels even make? Oh my god, you guys, it's going to start soon. Okay, let me pause this music. Bro, she's been trying to moan this entire time. We also did not move from this spot. I think I updated my game for no reason. Someone should hire her for a streamer character. The missed opportunity. We have Gwenai Fen. <sighs> Mina Kazuwa or Mina Kafka? Uh, Mina and a hot blonde. Mina X, like, no, Mina X Black Swan, bro. I freaking love Black Swan. I think, like, aesthetics-wise, Black Swan might be, like, one of my favorite, like, top tier of, like, all of the Hoyo games. She's just so pretty. Like, she is, she is so freaking pretty, you know? If Mina voice acts an NPC, I wanted to do a regulus and pro- Oh! God damn, that's loud. Alright. Yeah, YouTube premiere is very loud. 
Did it already start on, uh, on Twitch? But I want to watch it on YouTube. It's better quality. It's way better quality on YouTube, though, you guys. Okay. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. It has been millennia since the fall of well, the hell are these subtitles? and its history has okay. long faded into the mists of mythology and superstition. Legends tell of how before Ooh. the birth of the Corn Fontaine, there was an empire known as Remuria. Remurians believed their king Remus would bring eternal prosperity to the islands of the high sea. However, the god king's seers prophesied discord. The greatest empire will face the most utter destruction. And this is Fortuna. Fortuna. Thus did the God King derive the primordial As I just really like Tuna. from the cycle of the Fortuna. seven days and winds blowing over sea and land, and composed a splendorous symphony based upon it. He believed that the polities could escape fate's judgment and attain eternal paradise if they harmonized with his perfect symphony. But today... Welcome to the Genshin Impact version 4.6. Oh my god, the voice program. changed. Let's take a look at the trailer. Bro, she went from father to mother real quick. On occasion, we hold barbecue dinners at the house. They hunt for food, compete with each other, even cooperate. Well, it's the Hunger Games. They enjoy participating in activities oh. like that. And the feeling is mutual. After all, it's always possible certain familiar faces will be missing from the crowd the next time a similar event rolls around. Something has come up. And Sino! Since it pertains to Cyrus and Sino, Sayu's I deemed it essential to inform me. Everywhere I go, he's there. It was a Everywhere I go, it's Sayu. Plan shrouded in secrecy. We all gathered around and celebrated the revival of our Lord. That's how I gained my power. The old man's been putting the pressure on me. He sent someone to tell me I'm needed for some sort of project. Project Stuja? What is going on? In the plan will lose a lot of members in the process. But I did not anticipate we would meet again after presenting you with the Gnosis. If you accept my proposal, Monsieur Nevelet, unless absolutely necessary, this music? I will no longer carry out any special missions within the Oh, this music. Hold the scythe? Whoa, 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 there. Who, like, leveled up the, like, the weapon design in this game? Everlasting at the moon. What? An order once given cannot be rescinded. Who, who is that? Do you have any idea what you're doing? You're hiding the very person Father has been trying to find. Oh. I really didn't mean to drag anyone else into this. If Father finds out about this, oh, everyone Vinay. involved is going to be punished. A traitor. Sino was chosen. What is he going on? The only one. You'd like me to return my power? I'm really looking forward to this right of duels. The wisdom of Hermanubis would have been ours. I want you to become the next king of the house. Yet you seem to have those wings. I'm not saying I have all the answers, but doing so will only bring us further away from being a Wait, real gonna... family. Oh my God! What's go? What is going on? Allow me to remind you, Helen. Few among us are willing to sit from a glass filled with tasty water. We I'll make sure it's drained. What is going on? Good things come to children who do as they're told. So I do hope you decide to tag along. Not the dull blade, but on the ether, bro. Dangers ahead, and I, for one, don't intend to back down. The boss outfit. This will be an order from Father. So why, why have you backed us into a corner? No demonstration of loyalty shall go unrewarded, <laughs> and no sacrifice shall be in vain. Sarah Miller.
Traveler Cruise, the voice of the female traveler Lumine. Dude! Welcome to the Genshin Impact version 4. That trailer was program. crazy! Yay, welcome! <laughs> Holy okay, so that I'm trailer! Sure that everyone would agree that the House of the Hearth isn't an ordinary orphanage. Oh but my just god! In case you did any convincing, we've invited their voice actors to share some information. Why is Ito today. here? <laughs> hey everyone, my name is Erin Yvette. I'm the voice Hi, of Erin Kino, the father of the House of the Hearth. You might also recall that she's a Fatui harbinger known as the Knave. I'm so thrilled to have been invited to the special program. Yeah. Hi, what do you folks? mean mid? Do David we watch? Mills, the same the trailer Lini, and he's also a member of the house of the hearth yes he is yeah for now and although he's not a member of the house of the hearth we've also brought the harbinger of laughter and cheer the one and only <laughs> voice of arataki ito what up it's me max middleman hey everybody what's going on my bros my guys my dudes <laughs> that's why he's here that's why okay that's why he's here are you excited to be here vibes 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 <laughs> vibes for this <laughs> All right, well, without any further delay, let's start introducing the new content from version 4.6. I've heard that travelers will be experiencing new content related to the House of the Hearth in the upcoming version. Oh, God, that trailer was Aaron, so good. why don't you give us a rundown on what sort of organization the House of the Hearth is? Yes, it would be my pleasure. Based on the most recent intelligence reports, the House of the Hearth is a Fatui intelligence organization operated by the Knave. Uh, oh, I like you know has like a little red no streak. That's cool. Home due to all manner of reasons, and they receive an education in a variety of disciplines. Naturally, at the same time as it provides a home, the children also take on various responsibilities. Okay, this sounds like everything that we already know from the game. Uh, is there more news to hear? Yes, everyone knows that the House of the Hearth is a rather complicated orphanage, and the Knave, the fourth harbinger of the Fatui, is still hiding many unsolved Ooh. mysteries. So how about we start diving into all the new information that we have about our Lakino? Let's do it. Yes, let's do it. Oh my God. Okay. okay. First, okay. I, I Dude, that trailer was good. From y'all, what kind of person do you think the Knave is? Oh no. Oh my gosh, I'm feeling a lot of pressure right now. <laughs> this is giving me all sorts of deja vu. <laughs> um, I guess during the Fontaine Archon quest, I noticed that Arlequina was really skilled at directing the conversation. Her way of speaking was incredibly Guys, remember when she made Farina cry? Right? That was my favorite part. She was also incredibly intimidating. <laughs> I mean, remember how Farina pretended not to recognize her and talked about having nightmares? I totally get where she was coming from. Mm. But Guys, Farina's really cute when she cries, you, okay? Right? <laughs> What is the knave like as a parent? I think Damon is probably the best oh. person to answer that question. <laughs> okay, take it away. Okay, you were hoping that I would be the weakest link? Yeah. Well, <laughs> she's a very strict father. Okay. Uh-oh. Hmm. Yeah. Strict. Hmm. Um, hmm. All right, it sounds like she gives everyone an intimidating impression. Yeah, but I think Arlequino loves all of the house's children equally, and she would never treat them harshly for Actually, no reason. Actually, I I disagree. I think Lynette's her favorite. During her lessons, and are often scared speechless by her stern attitude. It's probably for their own good. In an organization like the Fatui, these kids actually need to be more mature, tough, and patient than other children who are their age. You know. <laughs> That's actually kind of sad, though, isn't it? It is, yeah, yeah. Who hurt this knave? I want to know. Why are they this way? <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Why are I'm they this way? She treats the kids like that because she was traumatized. Ooh, okay. Now that's very sharp of you, oh, no. but let's keep our Lakino secrets hidden for just a little bit longer. Okay, okay. Um, I do have a question, though. Why did the children call her father? Ah, uh, well, if you're curious about Arlequino's past, uh -huh. then you'll have to find your answer in oh, the game. That's fair. Her story quest, Ignis Purgatorius, will be released with version 4.6. Now, I don't want to spoil anyone's gameplay experience by saying too much about her quest, okay? But I do hope that travelers will be able to appreciate Arlequino's unique charm after they've experienced her entire story. I think we're experiencing <laughs> something. We're experiencing version something, you know? Version 4.6 will also introduce a new feature, the focused experience mode. Ooh. Now, if you oh? use the feature while playing Arlequino's story quest, then it will minimize the number of times that you'll be interrupted by characters or quest locations being allocated to other quests. Oh! So hopefully this mode will help travelers have a better story experience. Cool. Okay, that's actually that's pretty cool. Great. And in the future, this function will become available for more and more quests. 
Besides the That's actually cast, really cool. I'm also looking forward to hearing the Knave's voiceover lines because Aaron's kind of awesome. <laughs> we'll finally be able to hear what she thinks about the other Harbingers, too. Yes, I selfishly also think that will be cool. <laughs> yes. So, <laughs> next, let's take a look at Arlequino's elegant yet deadly fighting style. Ooh. <laughs> Intrigue! <laughs> yeah! Staring into my eyes is ill advised. Staring into my eyes is ill advised. Transfixed! Dude, that scythe is so nice. That's such a nice weapon. And with the wings? Dude, what? This is where She's giving Honkai Impact Core. Oh, oh, Dude, so cool. that was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I like how she glides. Is yeah, she kind of yeah. impact core, you guys? Yeah, she's very elegant. Like that was a perfect descriptor. Like elegant but deadly. Like a yes, like a ballerina of death. Yes. Everything she does is so effortless. I know, right? Yes. All right. Well, if we're going to talk about Arlequino's combat abilities, then we're gonna have to talk about the bond of life mechanic. Uh, you might have been a victim. Guys, to it while you she's not Sealy Core. She's Raven Core. Mm? Does anyone still remember what a bond of life is? Nope. Uh, oh, are you going to be teaching us about her abilities? Guys, you're too loud. Pipe oh. down. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, let's listen to what she has to say. <laughs> Wait, I, I think I remember. It's the red portion of the HP bar. When you have a bond of life active, it'll absorb oh. any healing that your character receives. So. They can't regain HP until the bond of life value has been healed. Yeah. Yes. Right? Very good, <laughs> student. <laughs> when oh my god. She has a good a bond girl. Of life greater than or equal to a certain percentage of her health bar, her normal charged and plunging attacks will be converted to pyro damage, which can't she's be She's similar to Natasha and Nature. That's what I said, fusions. Raven. And while she's in this state, her normal attacks will consume a portion of her current bond of life to deal oh. more damage and reduce the remaining cooldown on her elemental skill. Whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait! Know, a it's a lot. It's a lot. So you're saying that she'll deal? Oh my God! More she just sits. With her normal attack when her bond of life is higher. <laughs> Put simply, yes. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Wait a second. <laughs> no, wait. I get it. Wait. So uh, Arlequino can give herself a bond of life, right? Yeah, uh -huh. I, I think so. I mean, otherwise she'd have to chase down enemies who can put a bond of life on her. <laughs> Actually, that that sounds kind of funny. <laughs> I'd like to see that. Uh, and that brings God, us the to scythe animation is so Our nice. Our skill doesn't just damage enemies; it also applies a blood debt directive to any enemy that it hits, which will damage them periodically. And when she uses a charged attack or her elemental burst, she'll absorb nearby blood debt directives. This also allows her to obtain a bond of life based on the number of directives that she absorbed. So don't worry, Max. Oh, that, I, I, guys, I, I, I don't know what any of this means. Okay, hold on. She can't regain HP until her bond of life is removed, right? So um, how does she stay in the fight? Well, after dishing out damage, Arlequino's elemental burst will reset the cooldown of her elemental skill and heal her based on her attack and her current bond of life. Oh, okay. Also, thanks to one of her talents, while Arlequino is in combat, she gains bonus Father's damage, fathering? Hell yeah, brother. also cannot be affected by any healing effects other than the healing provided by her burst. Whoa, so... I oh, that, that glitch like was cool. Yeah, yeah. She has to mm. Like she needs therapy, probably. <laughs> <laughs> She's kind of a savage. I mean, <laughs> um, right. So I think it's Arlequino been about time we got a hotel power creep. Kind of you know, whenever she uses her charged attack, mm. right? Ooh, that looks perfect for scaring her enemies. Ooh, yeah, and for putting some serious pressure on them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she can float on water, you guys. Uh -huh. Oh, it's about time to introduce the event wishes in version 4.6. You guys ready? Ooh, let's yeah. do it. So exciting. All right. During the first phase of version 4.6, Arlequino, the knave, and Linny will both enjoy a drop rate boost. The all new five star polearm Crimson Moon semblance will Ooh. also become available. Yeah. Also, the wanderer and Baiju will Wait, is that the scythe? The phase, so be sure to keep an eye Wait. out. Wait. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's wait, so wait, 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 wait. <laughs> okay, so Aaron and Damon 
So like it looks like a like scythe, here? but it's a Actually, polar. I do. Let's discuss the Whoa. new weekly boss. Oh that's my God. okay. That's cool. We were just talking about how the knave shows different faces to her family members and to outsiders, but in special circumstances, she will reveal another side. See, it turns into a scythe if <laughs> Arlecchino's right. holding Are it. Are you ready to see a new name? Yes! Ready. I am ready! So ready! This music is crazy. Oh, this is nice. This is so nice. Oh, her hair got more black. This music? Not even Linny and Fremine have seen this side of her before. Mm. So the knave is accepting challengers now? What mm. in the oh Dark gosh. Souls so is this? Also super duper dangerous. Yeah. She's so, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, it feels even more badass with twice the badassitude. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> it's not so simple to see the knave's other side. She'll appear normally at first as if she were giving you an ordinary training lesson waiting to kill Oh my god, this is gonna tilt yeah, me. This is, I can already see this gonna tilt like this is gonna like tilt me so much. If we're out of her immediate range. Mm. Mm. Yeah. It feels like she's implying that we're all in the palm of her hand. <laughs> I mean, you guys know what her personality's like. She doesn't want her children <laughs> crying or running away from conflict. Instead, she hopes that they'll be able to take the initiative, even if their opponent is their own father. The outside world will not show her children mercy, so neither can she afford to be too forgiving to them. Aww. If you do not repay the blood debt directives the knave applies to you, all her attacks against you will be enhanced. <gasps> but if you manage to outheal the bond of life, the knave will reward you for repaying this blood debt, and your charged attacks against her will be enhanced. What? Yeah. That's a cool mechanic. The wings on her back look like spiders. <laughs> yes, yes, that's it. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's like she has total control of her prey while she watches them struggle and closes the distance <laughs> oh, it's kind of creepy being the oh i thought she was gonna say it's kind of sexy <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay 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 oh I sorry I, my brain went somewhere else sorry let's leave some space for everyone to experience the challenge for themselves wait so i know that many travelers will be wondering about this the nave's boss form is tied to her story quest mm -hmm. normally players would have to progress the story to a certain point in order to participate in the challenge but now we have a quick challenge feature oh. for weekly trounce domain bosses. Yeah. As long as travelers are adventure rank 40 or higher, they'll be able to challenge her directly by going to the adventurer handbook, wow. going to the domains tab, selecting trounce Guys. domains, and pressing quick challenge. Wow, oh, that's cool. That's a yeah. nice Amazing. little shortcut. I don't think battle. HSR has this. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm looking forward to that. Because <laughs> that is really valuable information to have. I don't do they and have this? It also looks like it's my turn to deliver some news. Two new artifact sets will become available in version 4.6. Fragment of Harmonic Whimsy and like Unfinished Navia. Reverie. Travelers who are interested in them should stay tuned for more information. Cool. Oh, you're finished. Oh, they do. Okay. Oh, Wait, I just did all the stuff in HSR. <laughs> so short. It wasn't enough for me. Yeah, give us more. Okay, okay. I actually do have other news to share. Ooh. Ooh. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, it's in not for weeklies. Yeah, it's not for weeklies. Sumeru City will be experiencing an unsolved mystery. Bum, bum, and bum. For some reason, Sino's gotten mixed up in it. Hey, how did you know about that? His picture is there. Oh, oh right. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> well, Sina wanted to investigate personally because someone involved in the case has a very unique identity, and the two of them share a close connection. Oh, it sounds like there's some serious shenanigans going That's on. That's right. Is this a case where we get to use violence <laughs> if the situation gets too complicated? Violence? These are all very good guesses, but I'll offer you one clue that you probably wouldn't be able to guess otherwise. 
a mysterious youngster with connections to the mystery oh, he's cute. make his debut during the case. Hmm. And Sino's friends are not just freeloaders who only show up for food. <laughs> Tainari, Kale, Alhatham, and Kave will all come to support him when he's in a pinch. Aww, so, yeah, friendship. If you want to know more about what happens in this case, then be sure to check out Sino's second story quest, Lupus Arius Act 2. Travelers can venture to Sumeru and investigate the secrets lurking underneath the sands. Underneath in due time, sands. of course. <laughs> Sarah, you totally delivered. Um, that was great news. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Speaking of great news, Ooh. I think Damon also has wait, some important information wait, to share. Wait, 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 wait. Really? Wait, yes. wait, wait. What are we doing? <laughs> We've just presented too much information too quickly. C can, we, can we take a break, please, so we can digest <laughs> all of it, please? Oh, Damon, please. please. He can't keep getting away I with this. <laughs> <laughs> right. No, no, Damon, you're See, right. guys, Ito's here Let's check out for the first redemption comedic relief. Code we continue introducing the new content. That's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. That's what I thought. <laughs> this music is crazy. Someone write the code in chat, please. This music is so good. Yeah, I'm still skipping. <laughs> I'm I'm still skipping Arlequino, but she looks great. Cause that's children on it. What do you mean? I like Lynette. I like Lenny, and I like Femine. I just guys, I don't play Genshin enough to um right now to warrant me pulling any more characters. This music is phenomenal though. I might play her story quest because this this I feel like it's gonna be really good. Hey, welcome back everyone. So hey. we've already told you the story of our Lakino and the House of the Hearth. So why don't we continue the story of Remuria, which you saw in the beginning of the program? I would like this very much, please. <laughs> yes, you did such <laughs> yes, a good job. Yes. Encore, <sighs> encore. <laughs> a new area of Fontaine will open in version 4.6. Travelers will get to visit the village. I mean, is keeping his fairly? She doesn't diss. Well, I think this looks amazing. Though, would there I think people who are dissing this are just haters story. right now. This looks well, awesome. Yeah, I guess this is this is where I'm supposed to really confidently say totally. Right? It is, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, now that you've mentioned it, there's definitely more to this village than meets the eye, right? Yeah, I think we're focused on the wrong thing here. This is where the kingdom of Remuria's remains lay at rest. So how big was such a glorious and prosperous nation, really? Mm. Oh, well, now that you say that, I mean, this little town looks a whole lot bigger. Now that's a neat trick. <clears throat> Watch this awesome move. This is where we'll meet a talking cat. With its oh. guidance, we will be able to see the civilization that vanished thousands of years ago. <gasps> Wow. Oh my god, that's amazing! Anything for a talking wow. cat. <laughs> As Aaron mentioned at the beginning of the program, yeah. King Remus composed a symphony, one with wondrous power that grants the wishes of the human souls dwelling within. Yes, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I'm. I. I actually. I don't You're get it. You're so not getting, getting it. Get that's it. okay. I will explain <laughs> it in a few words. <laughs> so you'll just have to learn about the symphony by going on an adventure with this little cat. Wow, this I'll looks so pretty. I'm never itself, exploring but here. You'll arrive at the Remoria ruins with the cat. The kingdom's remnants slumber. In the God, depths where the sunlight whale. can't reach. Guys, it's us. dragon in the deep seas. <gasps> dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun. So you'll be able to obtain powers relating to the symphony, which will help you explore the lost realm of Remuria. You'll be able to pause the melody within the realm of this ancient civilization. You can also unseal time in places where it stopped. So oh. these powers will let you interact with Rhythm the game, objects Doko? in the ruins. You know, that might be useful for solving puzzles during your adventure. Totally. Ooh. Meanwhile, a forgotten statue sits in a recess of the fated castle, silently proclaiming the immortality and glory of a great civilization. It awaits a warrior who would dare challenge the majesty of the ancient ruler. Oh yeah, that's right. The statue of marble and brass will soon be coming Ooh. as a boss. You can earn all sorts of materials if you manage to that's beat a cool it. Boss. A <laughs> that's, that's cool, that's actually really I'm cool. So hyped for it. <laughs> oh too. my gosh, yes. And Damon, you did such a great yes, job with introducing it. 
Damien. That was great. <laughs> that was great, yeah. Damien. Wait, but real quick, quick question. Yeah. How do we even get to such a remote little island? That is a great question. Travelers who have already completed the third act of the Archon Quest, Song of the Dragon and Freedom, will automatically unlock a teleport waypoint oh, in the bless. village of Petricor. Ah. Hopefully this helps travelers with exploring the new area. I've heard that this feature will return for many new areas in the future. Uh, so exciting. I know. So cool. <laughs> all right, that's all the information that we have about Fontaine for now. And now, outside of the region, <laughs> dot, dot, dot. it seems like a new style of rock and roll is getting Rhythm popular game? in Inazuma. Rhythm game? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> all right, let's all take a short break R before we get into Rhythm the next game? Question. Take a look at today's second redemption code. Yeah. All right. Are they going to make me log in to play this goddamn rhythm game? Rhythm, rhythm, rhythm game, Doko. Yes, I can code. Can someone put both codes in chat? Can someone put a message with both codes? We need a permanent rhythm game. Dude, that's, yeah, I agree with you. They just had a code. Yeah, they're trying to speed run it now because they because it was hard to put a code in the beginning because they're showing all the cool stuff. But yeah, guys, listen, listen. I might be skipping Arlequino, but I can full well say this looks like a great patch. Another dry patch. I think you guys are just haters at this point. I think you guys are actively like looking to hate like their story in this patch. It looks awesome. The boss, the new bosses look amazing. I think you guys are Welcome just being haters. Back, everyone. Hey. Rhythm game. Okay. I hear that a musical tour is coming to Inazuma, and the organizer is none other than Arataki Ito himself. <laughs> <laughs> Max, would you like to tell us more about it? It would be my Yo, absolute looks so pleasure, cute here. Padre. So I got a question. Does everyone still remember Dvorak? Mm -hmm. um... Of course. He participated in last year's Lantern Rite, mm -hmm. right? That's oh, right, yeah. yeah. Both Hu Tao and Xin Yen performed mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. That's Ooh. right, and this time, it's an epic tour for the ages, organized by none other than Ito and Dvorak. Oh, oh my gosh, and even the concert name sounds really epic. Yeah, oh, does. yeah. Oh, oh Marco voices, voices him? Oh, that's awesome. Arataki rockin' for life tour to force of awesomeness really gives off the feeling of rock and roll. Wow. <laughs> yeah. And the theme of this concert is about life, specifically, it's about a brave puppy who saved the lives of countless other creatures on the battlefield. Aww, that's so cute. Adorable. I'm really yeah. looking forward to yeah. it. Yeah, me too. I really hope the Music Festival of Life will inspire everyone to unleash their own rock and roll spirit. Their own and rock and roll. I'll let you in on a little secret. Ito himself will personally be performing on the big stage. Oh. What? Oh. oh my gosh, mm -hmm. that's gonna be awesome. Nice. Yes, it will be. And here's more exclusive news for you. Dvorak will be giving away a brand new musical instrument to our travelers. Wait, called no rhythm game? The Nightwind Horn. Ooh. Wait, wait, no so rhythm if game? If you enjoy playing music in real life, or especially if you enjoy playing music in the game, um, be sure to check it out. I'm rhythm game where? I'm seeing more amazing performances from all the great musicians out there. Are you now? Well, since you're so excited about it and the festival, why don't you help launch the Arataki Rockin' for Life Tour to Force of Awesomeness? Yeah, I'll try to. <laughs> Rhythm game? Rhythm? All right, there's three steps to preparing for the festival. Number one. Extreme Let's go! Ensemble. We can practice getting into the flow yes! of the rhythm games. It's back! While the stage is still coming together. Wow, those keys look really unique. It's back! Yeah, they really are. And the second task is called the Trillion Trinket Trawl. Finally! You can say that three times fast. The Trillion Trinket Trawl. The Trillion Trinket Trawl. The Trillion Trinket Trawl. I did it. Ooh. We can't have a rock and music festival without a rock and venue. So. Oh, I don't give a shit about this part. Go back to the rhythm game. Bruce it up with his list of items. It's a piece of cake, right? Yeah. <laughs> And lastly, Guys, this is how they get me to play the game again. We have a meeting of melodies. Can't have a party without adoring fans, so we gotta invite fellow music lovers to come jam with us. After listening to their tunes, we can restore the missing music notes. Oh, so we'll be able to hear them sing. That is super exciting. Yeah. Yes, that's the point. Music gets you pumped. And after we've rocked out to the pure spirit of music awesomeness in Inazuma over in Mondstadt, We'll be dancing to a tense and thrilling tune. <gasps> hold up, hold up. Ooh. What do you mean by tense and thrilling? Does it mean anything if I say, Wind Trace, Seekers and Strategy has finally arrived? Why? Oh, yes, Wind Trace is I back. I 
love wind trace. And and yeah, it can get a little tense at times. <laughs> well, that the new name implies that the game has undergone some mechanics. I'm tone deaf, yeah. help! Yeah, you're correct. That's, That's funny. very intuitive of you. Thank yeah, you. you'll be playing hide and seek as rebels and hunters, just like this before. This is a fun game mode. This is fun. new rules. Ooh. Yeah, when rebels are captured for the first time, they'll be exiled to the surveillance zone for a short period of time. Oh. Now, they will be automatically freed after their time out, but also their friends can try to help them escape the zone early. Oh my god, this is like Dead by Daylight. Deal twice, you're permanently deleted from the this game. This is literally Dead by Daylight. Ooh, it does sound tense and thrilling. <laughs> right? And that's not all. Oh no, each round will have six signaling devices. Prop to hunt? prevent nearby rebels from disguising or concealing themselves. The rebels' goal is to repair these devices while also avoiding capture. This is Dead Once by Daylight. Four devices, they win the match. Oh, and rebels can work together to repair these devices. And hunters will either need to prevent the rebels from repairing the signaling devices, or they can simply- Wait, this actually looks fun. <laughs> Wait, this actually if looks kind of fun. Friends, then watching these games should be a blast. <laughs> ah, she gets it. She gets it. But the next part is even more thrilling. When rebels are fixing a signaling device, the device being repaired will enter the high-speed signaling state. What does it mean? It means it'll give off a light visible by every player in the area. In fact, the device will even be marked. Guys, I can't. Ooh, this, I okay. can't believe we're doing this. So that means that repairing the devices will expose your location. Oh, oh my gosh! <laughs> it's these sort of unexpected risks that can be the most nerve-wracking. Mm -hmm. This is gonna be super interesting to play. Yeah. yeah. Oh, absolutely. And in another event, travelers will receive. A rather strange commission. Ooh. What do you mean, rather strange? What I mean is, there's a chef who's famous for using unusual ingredients, and he wants to make friends with a pyro regis. My God, it's Gohan. Huh? Oh yeah, and not just a pyro regis fine. He also wants to befriend a primo geovision and a jade plume terror shroom and the millennial pearl seahorse. Huh? Mm -hmm. You guys heard me the first time. <laughs> Yeah, I thought you would react this way. Anyway, a chef recently returned from a trip to Natlon, and he started getting some ideas. He thought he should toughen himself up by having his own companion. You know, just like how people from Natlon have Saurian companions. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. So he wants a Pokemon? Wait, did you say that he came back from Natlon? Listen, listen, Damon. If you want to oh, know the okay, details, okay. go check out the event <laughs> when the virgin is I'm live, sorry. all right? <laughs> but for now, it's time for me to introduce the game club. Oh, okay, all right, all right. Okay, here you. All right, you got it. <laughs> you got In it. In this challenge, you can adjust the difficulty and your negotiation strategies. If you've got the guts, then you can take on fearless difficulty. Why is the you can also talk to Ron Pyrovish, to whatever this is called, right? Pyrovish hop? strategies. So if you reduce Why is it kind them, of serving? amps up the challenge difficulty, giving you the perfect opportunity to test your skills. Cool. Both active strategies and long-term strategies are available. You can trigger active strategies. Red divine. Okay, thank However, you. However, your opponent's HP and level will change. But I forgot the names. Okay. The strategies Ooh, that you've picked. Ooh, that's cool. So yeah, so you've got to choose your favorite strategies to come out on top. Play to your strengths. Wow. Noted. And moving on, travelers should be familiar with our next event. Vibro crystal applications. That is, Ooh, it sounds seems sus. like the event involves connecting different vibrating crystals in order to generate different effects. Guys, Aaron, I like Keto just so said vibrating. How intuitive you are. Oh my gosh. Thank you. That means that so much incredible. coming. <laughs> yeah, well, I meant it. Each round requires two teams. Before each battle, oh God, you can on set up my vibro baby. crystal harmonics plans for each of your teams. This will allow you to receive different combat buffs when you combine transmitter crystals and receiver crystals. Hmm. Oh, I remember Basically, this event. The transmitter crystal decides the trigger condition, while the receiver crystal determines the buff that your team gets as a result. By connecting them in different combinations, you can create varying harmonic effects. It's your custom buff plan. Wow. Spot on, Saramela Cruz. Thank you. And you gain a <laughs> Okay, guys, everyone's complaining that Icho's here, but he's bringing the personality effect. in this live stream, all right? more combat bonuses if you accumulate enough harmonic points. Each challenge will have different trial characters, so you can choose the harmonic buff that works best for your team setup. Nice. Be sure to maximize your points if you want to exchange them for rewards. Maximize. Nice. Also, the Genius Invocation TCG event, The Forge Stop Realms Temper, with the will be returning cards. in version 4.6. Yes. The Heated Battle Mode will also receive an update, so don't miss out, duelists. <laughs> 
And there's gonna be an overflowing mastery event, so you can more easily train up the characters who need the extra boosty boost. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, thank you so much, Max. You just did an amazing yes, job. That was impressive. <laughs> they're also supportive of each other. Oh, and thanks, guys. since you introduced so many events in one go, I feel like you deserve a little break. I you know what? Oh. I yes, you agree. I was gonna well, say I, I agree, agree too. I agree. Agree. <laughs> so how about now? Let's check out the the, the last, last redemption, redemption code. God, Yoimi is so cute, you guys. Also, also, okay, I'm not the biggest Yai fan, and you guys know I'm not the biggest Yai fan, but Yai looks really cute here. I have to I have to give credit where credit's due. You know, I'm not I'm not a big Yai Miko fan, but but she looks she looks cute. She she looks she looks cute. How dare you? Guys, I'm sorry, I have my own opinions. Deal with it. Have you seen her long hair version? Fan made? You mean like her hair down? Probably. Bum, 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 bum. How about Kuki? I think Kuki's cute, but she's like a little far back, you know? Bum, bum, bum. How dare you have your own opinion? I know, right? Honestly, you guys, listen, listen. This looks like a great patch. This looks like a, this looks like a nice patch. Welcome back, everyone. Next up, we're presenting some information about improvements for different in-game oh. systems. Nice. Ooh. First ah. up, we have some updates for the Serena teapot, such as the quick obtain feature. Instead of having to navigate a bunch of menus, you can use this feature to put all missing furnishings into a queue, oh. where you can use one click to purchase any missing components and then craft your desired piece. Wow. Ooh, that does actually sound very convenient. So convenient, <laughs> so mm -hmm. convenient. The app Avatar system will also be updated, so you'll be able to use more portraits of your familiar friends as your profile display. Oh, wow. well, that's fun. Oh, that mask is Hanachiru Sato, isn't it? Mm hmm. Oh, and there's Arama you and bet. the Thunderbird and oh. Rue. Oh my god, you guys, Sparkle's mask oh, is here. And more. This is amazing. So <laughs> many more. I'm sure lots of travelers like them. Treasure compasses have also been updated. You guys, you got to appeal to the casuals, all right? The large map and the mini map. The compasses will also include information about different map layers. Sweet. Oh, that's way more intuitive. Ooh. It's time to eradicate all the maps with 99% exploration progress. Heck yeah. That's nice. Eradication. <laughs> yes. Now that we've gone over some updates to the game systems, it's time to talk about some Genshin Impact soundtrack news. <laughs> Let's go, music! Yeah. yeah, that's right. Genshin Impact's third Fontaine OST, Cantus Eternus, will debut during version 4.6. This album features original music created by the Hoyo Mix team for the new region of Fontaine and related content. Ooh, yeah. yes. Yes. Music is my favorite! So hyped. <laughs> Oh no, y'all! It looks like there's nothing left for us to present. <gasps> I know. I know. <gasps> so I can't believe I think this. That means it's time for this special program to come to a close. Say <gasps> oh, it's not so. Is, is there anything else that y'all would like to share with ooh, all the ooh, travelers ooh, who ooh, are watching? Yes. Uh, what? Uh, we need to have Ven answer uh, right now in this moment. <laughs> um, it's okay. You've got now. this. You've okay. Got this. Uh, okay. Okay. I'll make go. it easy and just um, be very selfish and say that I'm just so incredibly excited for our Lakino. Um, we did a lot of work with her. I think she's really cool, and I can't wait for everyone else to see how cool she is. Yay! She's so cool. She's so freaking cool, and I love the whole quest and everything secret that I can't talk about right now. <laughs> but I am also really excited for that and Linny's involvement in said things, mm. and that's all I'm going to say right now, guys. Yes. Yeah, it's Yay. so hard to talk about this without spoiling anything, but I'm so, so excited for you guys to experience this concert. It yeah. is so good, and all I can say is that I had more fun recording for this uh, part of, of Genshin Impact than I've had in a long time recording. So, oh. Um, oh my gosh, it's that's be amazing. <laughs> Wow, I'm excited for all of those things too. And I'm also really pumped for the Wind Trace Festival because I love it so much. I'm excited <laughs> for the rhythm like game. There's a ton of awesome things coming in version 4.6. So I hope Seriously. everyone's excited. Yes, yes I am. Yeah. Yay! 
Wow, okay. I just have to say, this was so fun being here with you today. I'm so <laughs> glad I got to be here with <laughs> you guys. This was such guys. a great time. <laughs> so thanks for being here. And I think that's all we've got for this program. So we will see you all in game. See you guys Bye. in the game. Bye. 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 Okay. Chat, you guys are so annoying. Um, not all of you guys, some of you guys. This patch looks good. All right, you guys, I, I, you guys know I'm more of an HSR person. I am, I'm very much more in HSR, but you guys are so annoying. Like, this looks like a good patch. There's story. The events look solid. Like, there's less events, but they feel like they're more quality events. Like, I don't understand what you guys want. Like, you're not getting a story update. Like, you're not going to get, like, we're not going to Natlin. All right, but the story that they're giving us looks awesome. You're getting new bosses. You're getting new regions. You're getting two new story quests. Like, guys, come on. You guys are just being haters. Listen, listen, I'm I'm always on the train to hate on Genshin. Like, I think it's fun. I think it's funny sometimes to be like, oh, lol, Genshin could never. But, but like, this looks like a good patch. Like, I don't know. I, I enjoyed that. Is it a 10 out of 10? No. Maybe like a 7.5 or an 8 out of 10. And I think that's fine. This looks great. Like, I don't know, like, Arlequino looks amazing. And then, like, Arlequino's weapon looks really cool. The boss fight looks pretty cool. Of course, 2.1 in HSR spoiled us, but that's because it's the story quest. But outside the story quest, there's not really much to do. You, guys, you know, guys, come on. Like, I think I think it's, a, it's like, a solid, like, 7.5. Like, that, it looks, this looks great. Now, like, the last patch was, like, a, like a 2. But this is, like, this, like, this looks good. A lot of hate is for real. Yeah, I know. Like, listen, listen. I'm, I'm always, I'm always here to be critical of Genshin. But like, you also have to like, if you're gonna be critical, you also need to like accept it when they do something kind of good. So like, they're adding quality of life. They are, like, they added more story. Like, I don't know. The, the, the story stuff looks cool. Uh, there is a last patch where. What do you, what do you mean? If you're being held at gunpoint, guys, listen. It looks nice. I don't. I don't know. Like I'm tempted to actually play Arlequino's story quest, and that feels uh, feels you know, if it makes me want to log in, I feel like that's a pretty good patch. So that's about it. But yeah, I think you guys are just haters. It's a chat to hate on Genji. I mean, chat's a hater on everything. But but you know, it is what it is. The thumbnail looks cool too. Uh, Danes of quest is long to come it'll come when it comes you know the more you guys ask for it the further it's gonna go away i rate this patch 5 out of 10 because i always lose my 50 50 damn skill issue imagine losing 5 50 50s in a row could not be me tell you that much uh filler patch but there's, there's story content <laughs> there's story content what do you mean you guys, I'm worried for you when when Star Rails 2.4 comes out and it's going to have to be filler patch because the, the epilogue is in 2.3. Like, what are you guys going to do? What are you guys going to do when they're like, um, where's the next planet? We like Penta Cody just ended. Why, why haven't we left yet? But yeah. Like, guys, come on. You, you have to you have to give give credit where credit's due. Like, this looks pretty cool. All right. Anyways, I'm I'm tired. Switching to hating HSR. I know, just like it's a constant like tandem. It's just hating on hating. But okay, I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm sleepy. I want to go back to sleep. This looks awesome. Um, I'm I might play Arlequino Story Quest. It, it looks pretty interesting. I want to know. Uh, like it's like Hunger Games, but like child edition. Well, I guess Hunger Games is actually with children. Uh, but it's like the Hunger Games, but Genshin edition. So that looks pretty. It looks pretty fun. I'm curious. I want to know what's going to happen. Pull also, I'm not pulling for Alakino. She looks amazing. I just don't think it's worth it for me to pull uh, on Genshin banners right now. Just because I don't play the game regularly. It's just a waste of money for me. I'd rather like spend it in HSR where I play the game every day. But um, yeah, it looks awesome. It looks awesome. Uh, hit that like button. Leave a comment if you think it looks cool. Um, follow me on other socials as well. Join the Discord if you're not already in it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.